What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to enable the number row on your Google Keyboard. So the first step is locating the settings or preferences for your Google Keyboard. If you're using a non-Nexus device, you can find the Google Keyboard application somewhere in your app drawer, assuming that you have it installed. And if you're on a Nexus device, because the Google Keyboard comes pre-installed, you have to go into your settings, go to language and input, tap on Google Keyboard, and you're there. So now we're going to go into appearance and layouts, then you're going to tap on custom input styles, and from here you're going to hit that addition sign, and we're going to add a new custom style. So from here, when it says add style, just choose your language, I'm in the US, and when you choose layout, select PC. Now you're going to hit add. Now after adding it, we're going to go ahead and enabling. We're going to go ahead and enable it. Tap enable, and you might have your screen look something like this. So you might just have to disable the use system language and just make sure that the new layout that we just set up is enabled. So right here, English US PC. Make sure it's the one that has PC, and make sure that's the only one that's enabled. So after that you're pretty much done. Just open up your keyboard and you have the number row exposed up top. And the layout is a little bit different because it is like a PC computer or keyboard, I guess. So if you don't end up liking it, it's easy enough to remove. But just take a look at it. Uh, you have the numbers up there. Uh, it's a lot easier to just tap on numbers now than as opposed to holding down or, or toggling on the number keyboard. And if you just end up not liking it, just go back to your preferences, go back to language input, go to Google Keyboard, Appearance Layout, Custom Styles, the same thing. Tap on the new layout that you just added and just put Remove. And that's it. And it'll go back to the one you're probably used to. So it's pretty simple. You don't have to do anything else. It's the stock official Google Keyboard. So it's a little neat trick that probably a lot of people didn't know about, including myself. But definitely take a look at the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit that subscribe button for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.